Well, Gonzaga fans woke up to some disappointing news. The men's basketball team game against Baylor was canceled early this morning. It was one of the most anticipated games of the season as GU is ranked number one and Baylor number two. Karthik Venkatraman joins us now with what could happen next. Karthik. Yeah, this matchup between college basketball's finest was called off about an hour and a half before tip off. We found out the two members of Gonzaga men's basketball team tested positive for coronavirus. One of them was a student athlete and the other was a non student athlete. The player who tested positive did not play in the win against West Virginia this past Wednesday. This cancellation was a mutual decision by both teams. This marks four total positive cases for Gonzaga this season. They had one non student athlete test positive before Kansas, a student athlete test positive before the Auburn game, and now two positives today. Three members of the team were in to put into contact tracing protocols because of the situation pro situations prior to today. We don't know how many players are in contact tracing protocol, uh, protocols as a result of today's positive test. Now this has all happened within a matter of 10 days. So what's next for Gonzaga men's basketball? Well, the positive test could result in the team forcing to shut down activities for some time, meaning their next four games all at home against Tarleton State, Southern, Northern Arizona, and Idaho are all in jeopardy. We looked into a couple of programs that had to, uh, you know, pause activities due to positive coronavirus cases within their team. The two that I looked into, Syracuse University and the University of Tennessee. Syracuse went on pause for 10 days. Then they had a day of practice before a game against Bryant University. Orange head coach Jim Beheim wishes that game wasn't played because his team didn't really have much time to prepare. Then you have Tennessee that went on a pause for 10 days, but when they resumed activities, they waited for a week before playing another game. So my point is the next game for Gonzaga realistically is against Iowa on December 19th. Either the Zags come out of pause, then they travel, get ready for that contest with not a lot of practice against the third ranked team in the country or that game could very well be in jeopardy as well. The other thing is GU and Baylor are also looking to reschedule this game. So when could that happen? Before the Iowa game seems unlikely and off the table because as I mentioned, I'd be pretty surprised if Gonzaga doesn't end up having to pause all ba uh, basketball activities. So that means they really won't have time to get that game going and prepared. So both teams have a gap between December 21st and December 29th. I think that's probably the best chance to reschedule, Tim.